Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. And uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. That's continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And also, Shalom to the whole elect that is also applying in his work, that's laboring his labor of love, that's giving it to all in the spirit. In faith, truth, sincerity, and also in all charity. Shalom. Now, our topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled, The System Has Failed Edom. All right, the system has failed Edom. And what I mean by that, first and foremost, Edom is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man. All right, their lineage goes back to a man by the name of Esau, in which his name was changed to Edom. All right, that's first and foremost. And the second point I want to make at the beginning of this video is that these Edomites, these low level Edomites <clears throat> under the um, the banking families, the international banking families that have uh, complete control over the planet Earth. You know, they right now <clears throat> they're starting to, f to feel the effects of the decline of America. All right. They're starting to feel the effects of first and foremost when. You go into the scriptures about how Israel was went through a set, a certain set of curses. They're also getting a, the the force of those curses as well. So on top of America collapsing, and especially with the economy, now you got the curses that was on us. And us, what I mean by us is the, the so-called uh, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which primarily make up the nation of Israel. And then you have the ones that are scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Now the curses that were put on us is not being put on Edom. All right. So now, you know, in this in today's time, man, it's not a good time to be Edomite. All right. Because right now they're getting to the point to where now they're starting to suffer and they can't take it. Now they're starting to, you know, the, get into that rah rah spirit, you know, rallying and this and that. Because they, they're they not benefiting off the system anymore. You know, it was a time where all these Edomites, you know, they were living good. You know they were living to they were living to the full, but <clears throat> but now now they're uh, starting to, f to, to feel that 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 pressure. All right, and they don't like it. They're not used to being in in a in a in that mentality. They're not used to being in that under that vibration of being put under pressure of being uh you know having to suffer. You know having to do this and that. You know do extra. Just to make ends meet <clears throat> And they're feeling the effects of that So They let you know that this whole system That was set up in the first place is being broken down And now these Low level Edomites You know the, the common Edomite Is feeling the effects of The Lord's judgment because really When, when, you, boil, when you boil Down to the, the Main fact of what's really going on Really, is Yahweh about Shemuel Shai, who these people in the call God and Jesus, in which their true names are Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and his son Yahweh Shai, which is the only begotten son. Really, <clears throat> the Lord is the one that's doing this. The Lord is the one that's causing these things to happen and causing America to decline, which America is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. All right? He's allowing these things to happen so that America can be taken down and that the kingdom. Or his kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, can be established, and that wickedness is, uh, be thrown down, and that America gets kicked off his throne. All right. <clears throat> now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the scriptures. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, just want to bring out the uh, key points. Let's just bring out a few a few precepts through the Spirit. Uh, it's the Book of Job, the uh, fifth chapter, in the twelfth verse. It says he disappointed. The devices of the crafty So that their hands cannot perform Their enterprise And that's right So the ones that's disappointing uh, The one that's disappointing the, the devices of the crafty Is Yahweh Bashem Shai So that their hands can no longer perform their enterprise So that's why certain things have been happening Left and right That has been causing <clears throat> these devils To backtrack And to start and to make another move Just to further their agenda All right, It's not only the, the, the common 
Edomite that you see is also going towards the uh, the higher ups because really this is this is towards uh, the higher ups because the 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 elites, so called elites or the so called white man, are the ones that are pulling the strings. All right, this is this is their 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 plan. This is their enterprise that they set up to have complete control, not only of the lands that are here on the planet Earth, but also the people. All right, because they do this to uh to make themselves into uh to, to uh, basically to manufacture themselves as, as as the most high all right to be as a god to have control over everybody to control what they do what they say all right because they understand they understand about the most high they know that there's a higher power and they know that he's he's controlling everything and they're in their envious of that and in their wicked hearts and their wicked minds they think that what they're doing is trumping the most high all right but the lord has put put that spirit of ignorance and that spirit of uh rebellion within these uh these higher higher ups of esau higher ups of edom to do what they do just to fulfill prophecy all right now uh <clears throat> verse 13 says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong all right you see so right now, the Lord is taking the wise in their own craftiness right now. You know, they're thinking that the moves that they make is is, is going to just is going to further their agenda. It's going to uh, seal the deal. But the Lord comes right back. And um, he disappointed whatever whatever it is that they, they thought up of. All right. Because really, the main target that they're trying to get to is us, the Hebrew Israelites. All right. They're trying to get to our people and they're, and they're targeting our people because they still have that same hatred towards our people going back to the time of Jacob and Esau when they were born. If you go read Genesis, the 25th chapter. All right. <clears throat> so that hatred is still there. All right. Towards our people. And. um, What they're doing is that they're making us a target to where they want to put us back in the in the, in the chattel slavery. All right. Make us uh, plantation slaves again, man, by having con complete control over what we do. All right. So that's why when we go into uh, <clears throat> when we go into the specifics of Edom. You know, especially when it comes to control, really, it's going to be instilled by way of the mark of the beast technology. All right. What's that mark of the beast is uh, in the scriptures is the, the RFID microchip or the NFC chip. All right. And that's how he's he, he's gonna put two thirds of our people back back in chattel slavery, having control of what they do, what they say. All right, it's gonna be a complete uh, controlled state to where everything that you do is monitored. All right. So uh, I want to go from there, and also to solidify the fact that uh, these these. Uh, Low-level Edomites, the, you know, the, the common Edomite is feeling the effects is because now you got the, the, the lower level Edomites trying to uh, expose the higher level Edomites. All right. And that's such and that's and that's the way of Esau, man. What Esau does is that he 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 throws his own his own um, people out in the dust. All right. Out in uh, he, he throws his own people under the bus just to just to satisfy his own lust. All right, to get what he wants, and such is a way of way of a dog, man. You know that's the way that's the way a dog does it, man. And it, we always spoke on this. Let like a dog, uh, you throw a piece of meat out to the to a bunch of dogs, and you know they're all gonna kill each other for that for that one slab of meat. All right. So now you got these these Edomites that, that are coming at each other and trying to expose uh, the higher ups of their own. And that's causing friction within their own nation. All right. You know, what? and that's and that's normal for for these Edomites. All right. Because they did the same thing to Jacob. All right. Basically, during the time when um, we was coming out. It's like it uh, we was coming out of uh, the land of Egypt and also other times as well, man, they pretty much they broke. They broke the brotherly covenant. All right. They broke the brotherly covenant and uh, where, where 
now the Lord has has honored that we no longer see him as our brother. All right. So the same thing he did to us, Jacob, what do you think he's going to do to his own man? He's going to leave him out to dry. All right. Now, um, I get the book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter. Start at verse two. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. All right. Because if you go into the book of Revelations, it speaks about this place being spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. So this is this this city that we're residing in right now is spiritually called Egypt. All right. This is the house of bondage. Why? Because we've been brought here on cargo slave ships during the transatlantic slave trade, and we're still under the uh, subjection under these Edomites. All right. We have to go to these Edomites for everything, and we have to work. You know, for for hours and hours on end, just to make ends meet and to survive. All right, that's 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 called uh, slavery. By f really, that's slavery by force. You know, if you don't if you don't work for Esau, if you don't work for Edom, then guess what? You just you're just gonna starve. All right, and not being able to support yourself. That's how this devil got this system set up. But guess what? It's backfiring because his own people are not able to find work. His own people is not able to find jobs and not able to sustain themselves. And, and now they have to do certain things to, to, to uh, make ends meet. See, and that's the same thing that we was dealing with. OK. Uh, so once again, it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right. Actually, let me sit my phone down for a little bit. Let me um, go ahead and pull off. It's locking. It's like yeah, I can yeah it's a, pulling out right now. I'm at an undisclosed location. All right, so again, going to the scripture, it said he will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, man. He'll set the Edomites against the Edomites. All right, because the, e the Edomite is now is known as the modern day Egyptian. All right, why is that, man? Because when you call yourself an American an American Edomite You know in other words I won't even go I won't even say that If you call yourself An, an American You're basically calling yourself An Egyptian Alright Why is that? Because you're You're in league And and you're Okay With the spirit That is on this place Right now The vibration That is um, On this place America Which is the spirit of Egypt The vibration of Egypt Which is what? Captivity Alright Now I'm gonna go from uh, from there. I want to get the book of uh, Sirach. Sirach, the tenth chapter, and um, start at the eighth verse. Like you, uh, like you, like you. All right. Once again, it's uh, the book of Sirach, the uh, tenth chapter. Is at the eighth verse. It says, "Because of unrighteous dealings and injuries, it's like it. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Because that's how this devil has got gotten this place. All right. Unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit. And so it's through deceit that these Edomites have gotten this land. All right. It is through slavery." It was through the uh, the rape, rob, and murder of our people. That's how they got this land. All right. So now, because of that, because of, because of this, what these Edomites have done, the kingdom is being translated from one people to another. And that's right. That's why I mentioned earlier that now you're starting to see these things happen happening to these Edomites. Now you're starting to see certain things happen that was that our people were going through. Now they're going through it. All right. And that, that the power is being transferred from them to us, which is once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, because the Lord is about to usher in his kingdom. All right. Now I'm going to go from there. I'm going to grab one last precept.
like it. I want to grab the uh, scripture, and I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm getting. All right, so Deuteronomy 30, the 30th chapter, and um, start the sixth verse, and this is the, um, the precept we're going to end off the video on. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashemel Shai, thy power was circumcised on heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love Yahweh Bashemel Shai, thy power, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and that thou mayest live. And that's what he's doing right now. All right? He's causing us to come back into, into his good gracious, and to love him with all our heart, and with all our soul, with all our mind. And, and, that's, and that's the main commandment. All right? That's one of the uh, commandments that Yahweh Shai, who these people in really called Jesus, when somebody came up to him and asked him, you know, what was the greatest commandment in the Bible? And he said, to, to love the Lord, your power with all your heart and all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And he said, the second is like unto it, love thy neighbor as thyself. All right. Which is in the form of what? Doing his work. All right. So the Lord is causing us. Or he's, he has circumcised our heart which the, If you go into the word heart In the Hebrew it means uh, lob, Which means your mind So he circumcised our mind Right And what does it mean to be circumcised in the mind That means to, to come back into your heritage Because that's how The Lord Brought us into his agreement By circumcision He did it by Abraham All right. That's when uh, circumcision was introduced And um, actually it goes back further than that, but, you know, just for the sake of edification, you know, when it comes to circumcision, you know, that was, that's the covenant between us and, and Yahweh Bashem Shai. So being circumcised in the mind, that's us being brought back into the covenant of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And the Lord is causing his men to be brought back into that covenant. All right. And the only way that was done, it was through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Now it says, uh, verse, and it's the point, and verse 7, it says, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. See? So the Lord is going to in turn put all these curses that fell on us on our enemies, in which our main enemy is Edom or Esau. Okay? So they're going to feel the effects of the curses. All right. And at that point, they're also going to be put in slavery, man. So meanwhile, while the system is, 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 is has crumbled, America is destroyed and they're brought into captivity. They're also going to feel the effects of the curses. Now, then they'll have to come come to us for in one of all things. But guess what? It's going to be a, a, a even harsher captivity or harsher uh, uh, slavery than they put us through. All right. So again, it says, in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And right, and Edom hates us, man. And he's persecuted us. All right. That's why the scriptures say, uh, Concerning Esau, he said, Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. All right. Also, it says, And the accuser of our brethren, the accuser of our brethren is thrown down. All right. Verse 8, it says, And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmel Shai, and do all his commandments which I command thee this day. All right, see? So that's going to be the time where we're going to come back. We're going to uh, go back to being a nation that's never going to go off ever again. All right. So with that, that pretty much wraps up this video and this lesson in our Lord's will. This was edifying to the body of Yahweh Bashem Shai, to the members of the Hofi elect, and until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachakodash, and also double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that still to this very day continually rule very well, and also Shalom, peace and safety, citations to the Hofi elect that is uh, doing his work in faith, truth, sincerity, and all charity. And with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.